can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. Uh, the same set of questions, question 38. Uh, we're basically doing the same thing with just, you know, number changed. Uh, so step one, always find the uh, global, global equal equilibrium, right? So, sorry for my misspelling. And, um, yeah, so there are two forces over here. There's one force over here, so let's pick... Um, Let's pick on this side. Uh, let's do moment at A, some of the moments at A. And every time before we decide, right? So here's a little trick, that's what I meant. Um, we're doing the method section, right? And, you know, usually we would always uh, try to use the easier side. Right, the one with the lesser force, because you know they're easier to calculate. Um, you know, easier. You know, less easy to make mistake. Right. So we would like to try to use this one. And basically, once we, you know, when we use sections to find these three forces, that means these side usually are, are won't be ever used again or considered again. So that's why you know, if we use moment at a, it will find you dy. And so you don't have to use some of the forces to find dy again if you're using uh, some of the moments at dy, right? So some of the moments at a, um, so this counterclockwise is a positive direction. That means p1 times 3 meters uh, plus p2 times 6 meters and p3 plus p3 times uh, also 3 meters, all right? So all these are going to the opposite direction of dy, right? So dy equals the sum of all of uh, these forces, and his direction from d to a is uh, nine meters. If you plug everything in into your calculator, dy should uh, be 12 kilonewtons, and, um, and it's going the positive direction. And let's see, d, oh, okay. Guess we're we're not looking for that, and um, so yeah, let's draw a quick uh, budget uh, uh, three-body diagram over here of the right side of the truss. Right, P two is over here. Uh, D Y is uh, over here. D Y is well, D Y is twelve. We found it. Um, so yeah, we have so. One, two, three forces uh, are in y direction, and we already know two of these, so we can use the uh, sum of the uh, forces in the y direction. Going upwards is the positive equals to zero. Uh, therefore, minus uh, so dy um, minus p two minus this force. Uh, sorry, this force be right be uh, times sine of 45 degrees uh, gives you zero, right? Uh, dy minus dp2, so dy is a lot heavier than p2, right? I mean, not a lot, but 12 minus 9 equals 3, so we know that there are more forces going upwards, and we need this force to counter it, right? So be uh, times sine of 45 should be uh, three kilometers, uh, kilonewtons, and uh, if you divide it by uh, three kilonewtons by sine of 45, BE should give you three times square root of uh, two. Uh, three times square root of two. And uh, to determine whether it is in tension or in uh, compression, we'll look at the direction of the forces. It's um, so we're looking from the perspective of the joint, right? Joint E. So if I'm being if I'm being stretched, my reaction is a pull, right? So this force is pulling on the joint because uh, as a reaction force because it's being stretched, right? And when something is being stretched, is in tension, right? 
And over here, we're looking at uh, some of the forces in y direction. We can't really use that because there are two unknowns. We don't have equations. Uh, so we'll have to use some of the forces. So let's just say use uh, some of the forces and I'll do it over here. Some of the forces in the, uh, I mean, sorry, sorry, some of the moments, some of the moments at, uh, let's use E, right? Get rid of most amount of forces. Make a, makes our life easier, equals zero. And so that will equals forces BC uh, is doing work. So BC times three meters. Uh, it's going into the positive direction, so minus, right? Uh, sorry, it's going into the clockwise direction, so it's minus. Uh, it's negative. And what's the other force it's doing? Well, this force is going straight from here, from the joint, so it doesn't do anything. These two, it doesn't do anything. So the only other force is dy, right? So dy is going to the counterclock direction, so dy uh, is the positive and that times three meters. So hey, here we go. Um, dy, well, move this through the other side, divide everything by three, so BC uh, equals to dy, right? So BC is also 12 kilonewtons. And looking at the direction of the forces, right? It's pulling on the joint as a reaction because it's being stretched, right? So BC is um, 12 kilonewtons in tension. Well, in that case, you know, there's no any other force going into the uh, positive direction, a positive x axis direction. So this force right here uh, must be in positive, right? It must be going to the right to counteract these forces, B and uh, BC force. So yeah, let's use the, some of the forces in the x direction, uh, going to the right as the positive direction. Uh, equal to zero, right? So, well, we have two forces, BC, so BC, uh, we already calculated, that is uh, 12 kilonewtons, right? BC equals uh, 12 kilonewtons, and um, this force over here is three times square root of two. Uh, over here, we already calculated times sine of 45, you know, this is a square, right? So the angle is 45. And uh, so B times cosine 45 is also equals to 3 newtons. So negative 12, negative 3 kilonewtons, and plus uh, the force in Fe. That would give us 0. Move everything to the right, Fe uh, would give you 15 kilonewtons. Wow. This is exerting a lot of forces. And it's doing a lot of work. Um, so here we go, uh, we found everything. Oh, sorry, um, determine whether there's a compression or tension. So it's pushing on the joint, right, as a reaction force. So what's happening in the real world, it's being compressed, right? Because I'm being compressed, my reaction is to push the force away. So EF is in compression, and here we go. This is the, uh, you know, this question in question 37 is really the same question, just with the number changed. Um, uh, it's not really that hard but yeah hopefully this video was helpful and uh, good luck in your studies see you next time bye if you have more questions uh, specific questions you would like me to do please comment in the comment section down below